This is my Beast Lord Black. We're on the Bristle Bane server. He is level 115. He's max AA. He's got the majority of his progression done. He's in a mix of older raid gear. For instance, um, Feral Lord's Flogist on Tunic. Then stuff that is sort of EOK level, 5,000. He's got a Jeweled Skull of Null. His pet earring is Summoner's Phlogiston earring with EM25. Um, his focuses go up to 115, but after that, when we level again, we're going to have to probably replace our gear and we will no longer have the lovely um, older raid gear that's still, still serviceable. Um, Let's see. I have my abilities set up in six banks. It's not necessarily the best. This is my combat. Um, usually I hit start with this, assist main, since I'm not really in a group. That doesn't matter. Disc bestial savagery, pet attack, pet Q swarm. I usually follow it up with um, Shaw's reprisal, which is the AA Beastmaster slow. It's better than the current slow, spell slow, so you're never going to have a reason to use the spell, in my opinion. Um, I have Gricklar's Feralgia memorized. Feralgia a pass the, passes the equivalent of um, Growl of the Leopard, and it also sends in um, a swarm, so I, I use that instead of Growl of the Leopard. Start off with my uh, Maelstrom, and then I have three dots, and then I have Bite. Um, this is Restless Roar. As long as I'm not mezzing, it's frankly a better uh, direct nuke than any alternative I really have. Um, Bay at the Moon, it's a choice. Dichotomic Fury. Uh, I have Dichotomic Fury um, in level six. My Dissident is at level 4. Um, level 4 Dissident is equivalent to Dichotomic Fury 6, but Dichotomic Fury 6 is still ever so slightly better and uses slightly less mana, so that's what I go with. Um, I like Shared Merciless Ferocity, and then because I'm here petting, I've got uh, two heals. This is... Uh, combination of uh it's like it's a promise heal 22,000 and then this is uh, uh the actual promise healing rk2 and so that's you know kind of how i use my pet heal but i also have a mercenary on reactive and my lovely pet with no mage gear whatsoever um pretty much i'm like pile buffed and then i buffed him with my stuff um this is okay so this is my Combat, um, I have here, um, I hit that if I use uh, Plain Possum. Stand, Assist Main, Attack On, Pet Attack, Pet Q, Pet Swarm. So, and then this is just my melee attack. Partly the reason I use that is, have it there, is so I can see that I am attacking. Slow, uh, my mash button, uh, which has got the disc batter that gets the synergy going um all that 362 which is going to be probably roar of thunder focused claw uh, chameleon strike and maybe no it's not gonna be roar of strike the thing is okay let's say here chameleon strike lowers hatred roaring strike increases hatred so you got the two of them you use whichever um since i am going to let my pet take the uh, brunt i'm going to be using chameleon strike um, so these are kind of my basic combat and mash buttons i've got my epic up these are my burns 
and you can see what I've got here for my burns. Um, then just so I don't have to change that, it'll always work whatever chest item I'm using. And this is, of course, Dicotomic Fury. It's not really a burn. You use that whenever it's up. Um, this isn't canny. It's the um, Consumption of Spirits, which is the Beastmaster version of cannibalization. Big heal, cure. Obviously, I forget stuff. This just makes it easy for me, and it's visible. You want to do endurance. You need endurance. That would be um, Enduring Frenzy. You only use that when attacking, nature salve, and uh, warder's gift. This is a reflexive sundering. It gives a, a nice chunk of endurance to your entire group. You can only use it every 10 minutes. But it does four hand-to-hand -hand attacks to your target restores a large amount of endurance to your group um i forget exactly how much endurance it restores but it's not bad but i kind of use it for um when like the main tank has died and come back um i'll hit that to feed him a little endurance so he can get going that much quicker you know if somebody dies that's when you use it um as i said i think it's every 10 minutes Yeah, every 10 minutes. Um, so those are my, my burns. These are kind of buffs, Focus Paragon, Paragon of Spirit, um, Pact of the Worrying, Fairless Unity. Group buffs, I'm not going to do that right now, but this mems in these last three slots, some buffs. Um, my spell sets, I have a group buff spell set, which is, these are all blank and it just mems the group buff, so it doesn't have to remember the whole bar. Same with pet buffs, I have four pet buffs I do. And then Beast is my primary um, normal working lineup. It's not the best lineup, it's the one I use. Um, so this is group shrink, um, this is all my sort of buffing bar. Um, down here is pet stuff. Um, I've got that labeled mend. It does uh, mend pet. I did that. I think I was just not using it enough and uh, sometimes trouble finding it, locating it, though, because, you know, my vision is bad. So I put it in red. And now I, I find it easier. Um, so those are all of my various pet buffs. Here is uh, just stuff that didn't fit anywhere else. You know, quick little heal, my invisibilities. This mems my main spell set, so I can just hit that. Um, say if I did uh, group buffs, and then I want to go back to mem what's left. Mass buff, tranquil buff. So up here is more kind of protective stuff for the most part. I threw shrink in there because I just didn't have any else place to put it. It's the same as group shrink. I really don't need it there, but that's where it is. So I've got here swarm pet, cheetah's pounce, which uh, is, you know, when you're running away, et cetera. Protective warder. That's a nice uh, resistant. Um, Protective Spirit Discipline, that's a disc up here, and um, gives you some nice mitigation. I have auto-skilled Eagle Strike and Round Kick, so I don't even necessarily have to have them here, but I do just to kind of make sure they're going down, that something didn't mess up. Um, of course, my, my Feign Deaths. And so that's my working bars. This is just uh, various veteran benefits. Had room for them, so I threw them up there. And there you go. That's uh, this. So let's just uh, beast in. Slow. Threw some buffs on there. Um, 
Bay of the Moon, Kirkler's Philaglia, and then uh, go ahead and I'm going to get in. And somebody suggested this, and it's probably a good idea. So let's. Here we are. Um, so we're just kicking a little ass now, um, messing about. Bay at the moon. Okay, so these are my mash buttons. I should get those going. Monkey Spirit Discipline isn't on a mash. And he's just going to die real quick. I don't have track up, but what I would like to see here is... Uh, named somewhere okay Now, there are definitely a lot better ways to run a beast. This isn't really the raid method. This is just uh, being a little bit lazy, taking care of myself. Um, got way too mana, so let's go ahead and start nuking. Lay our chills on our dots. Now, I really should be more proactive in getting batter down, get that synergy up, but I'm not in a group right now, so I'm not so worried about it. And on this guy, I'm doing about 130K DPS right now. This isn't burning or doing anything special. Stolar cockatrice. About 137k DPS. Here we have a group up here.
there's nothing I need to really fear here as long as I'm reasonably circumspect in my pulling. Um, but uh, names, I have to pay attention. Notice how I feign death, pop right back up, get into it again, nuke a little bit. I usually only do one set of dots. They're good for 48 seconds. This guy's usually gone. Throw some heals on. Not that I need it, but I sometimes forget. Bay at the moon. That's a swarm. And this guy's dead, and we did about 156k DPS on there, so that's okay. If I'm burning, I'll do a lot more. And burning, I can be competitive with people. Beast in, Shaw's reprisal. Now, I don't have these hotkeyed or set up. A lot of people do. It's probably a pretty good way to go. You know, key binding, that type of thing. Now start my mashing, which I should have done earlier. Notice the, my pet does okay. He's not uh, getting killed. I did cast a few heals on there with the late heals. Didn't really need them. Bay at the moon. Grix Fraglia, and he's gone, he's dead. So this is my Beast Lord, and uh, my Beast Lord setup, um, it works for me. I um, think I hit all the main uh, abilities on it. I will let you go and talk to you later.